My name is Jenica Vargas and my Teach One assignment is on data cleaning. I'm going to go over the purpose of data cleaning, some SQL commands, and examples of SQL code that can be used to clean data. Data cleaning is the process of filtering data so that only true, accurate data within the range of interest will be analyzed and reported. The majority of time spent analyzing data is actually spent uh, cleaning data. Um, if you skip this step, you're going to end up with a lot of headaches later and inaccurate results with a lot of errors. A lot of information that's put into electronic health records is entered manually. If you think about um, dates of service, uh, dates of visits, dates of birth. So um, there's going to be errors. You should expect that there's going to be errors. And that's what data cleaning does is it removes those errors so that you have um, clean and accurate data. So some of the things it can remove is duplicate records or visits, any visits dated prior to birth or after death, visits that are out of range of interest, as well as inconsistencies and complications. So we went over basic SQL commands last week and that was covered pretty well, but some of the ones that you would use in data cleaning are listed here. So just to go over them quickly, uh, the WHERE command filters data by using a specific subset or condition. GROUP BY command is a way to summarize data. It groups the results or subsets of data by column name, and this is placed after the WHERE command. The HAVING command is always placed after the GROUP BY command. This is used to specify the conditions of the filtered or grouped results. If command creates two different values based on whether the statement is true or false. And other commands that can be used, and you'll see some of these um, in the rest of this presentation, are between, min, max, and rank. So here we're going to look at removing duplicate data. You can see my table to the right. I created a table that um, purposely has duplicate data so that we could look at removing it. So to the left is an example of code that you could use to remove duplicate data. Um, I select patient ID, the ICD-10 diagnosis, and the age of diagnosis. I'm going to put that into a temporary file called no duplicate. That comes from my permanent file patient data, and I'm going to group by patient ID, ICD-10 diagnosis, and age of diagnosis. Uh, I put that into my SQL server. You can see my temporary file now has no duplicate visits. Um, each patient visit ID only has only occurs once, so I got rid of those duplicate files. Here we're looking at removing visits before birth or after death. Uh, what probably happened here is the manual entry of date of birth, date of death, or date of visit was entered in error. So if you want to just get rid of those so that you're looking at only error-free information, this is an example of code that you could use for that. Um, select patient ID, put into a temporary file called error-free from your permanent file. Here it's called patient data group by patient ID, and here we're using the having command to show that we want to look at a minimum age of death, which is greater than or equal to a maximum age at diagnosis, or the minimum age at death is null, meaning the patient is still alive, and a minimum age at diagnosis is greater than zero, meaning the patient has been born. So this is just looking at uh, making sure that our patients at the time of diagnosis who were alive, um, you know, they hadn't passed away yet and they were already born. And you can play around with this if you want to look at um, dates or ages or um, certain, if you want to look at certain ages, for example, if you wanted only um, to look at adult data, then you could make sure that the bottom line, your minimum age of diagnosis is greater than 18. So when I put this in my SQL server, I return patient IDs only of my patients who were, um, who were born and had a date of diagnosis prior to their date of death. 
Uh, here we're looking at removing out of range visits. So depending on what your data analysis is looking at, you might be looking for a specific um, age range or a specific sex or diagnosis. You can um, filter your data so that you get rid of anything that doesn't fit with inside the range that you're interested in looking at. So here, this code is selecting the patient ID and visit ID to put into a temporary file called inside range coming from the permanent file patient data. And this is where our age of diagnosis is between 18 and 45, and the age of diagnosis is not null. So our range here is we're looking at patients who have ages entered, and they are adults between the age of 18 and 45. Um, so putting this into the SQL server, this is going to return my patients who fit with inside that range. And I just wanted to note and point out that you actually see duplicate data here because I have duplicate data in my permanent file. And although we cleaned that in uh, one of the first steps in this presentation, we put that clean data into a temporary file. So because I went back to my permanent file to um, show these other examples, you can see how that those results are accurate now because although these um, patient IDs and visit IDs do fit within that range. These are patients between the age of 18 and 45. We have that duplicate data coming back. So it's just um, kind of an example of why it's important to uh, clean all of the data and make sure that all of it's accurate. You know, not only are you looking for inside this range, but you also want to make sure that you don't have, you know, duplicate data because that would skew your results. Um, so just to point that out there, that I went back to my permanent file, and that's why we have those duplicate data there. And that concludes my presentation. I got my information from within our course materials, from Dr. Alemi, our PDF files, and PowerPoints. Thank you for watching my presentation.